This video is about scanning electron microscope or field emission scanning electron microscope. How you are going to interpret your SEM or FSEM graphs, micrographs of your research articles. For example, this is one of the advanced tools uh, which you will require when you are publishing your work in a high impact pack journals. So let's see basically SEM stands for scanning electron microscope and this is also called fuel emission scanning electron microscope. I am not going to the detail but both are used for same purpose. Fuel emission just used for little bit higher magnification than SEM. This characterization tool is a versatile tool and powerful tool for material characterization. It becomes very very useful and necessity due to the shrinking of material dimension for copious applications because we are going into a nanotechnology domain so this characterization tool is become very very important for example how if we do not know that whether we are getting nanomaterial or not how we will know using this uh, SEM it is basically using electrons while light microscope uses visible light to see object scanning electron microscope use electrons to see object to take the image the sole purpose of SEM is taking image if they take image so you will understand that your material is a rod or this is a sphere it is a hollow it is a rough or it is smooth basically the main and sole purpose is morphological studies morphology mean how it look like the surface the textures whether the material have force four sizes or not and the size is mostly in micron size and sometimes in nano but uh, in nano it is little bit uh, difficult to bring because the nano scale definition is below 100 nanometer and you will see that uh, we cannot get uh, image below 100 uh, uh, nanometer so this is the surface uh, morphology you can see this is one image and this is uh, 191 nanometer diameter of this fibers this scale this bar you see this this scale this bar you can also use this to measure uh, 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 the diameter of the uh, fibers this is one of the technique this is 100 nanometer you see the scale is 100 nanometer just take this and measure this so you see this fiber look like 200 nanometer you see similarly this one is thinner almost similar to this bar a little bit bigger so this is 124 nanometer you see and this is also you can see the cross sectional of the fibers whether your fibers are porous hollow or it is compact solid it is very important tool scanning electron microscope so you can see that look you my fibers are hollow you can see here the fibers are hollow so how i knew this uh, without using a skin electron microscope so this is very very uh, important uh transition tool here and let me show you some other figures here uh, you see here look this cross-sectional uh, big big holes are here so it is a tube like thing and uh, you will amaze that uh, the hole uh, very big big hole this is almost 100 millimeter hole because if you take this bar and put it there so this is uh, very interesting images here and this is another images <laughs> multi multi pores are there multi pores here you see and one another important M -M picture is here um, look this one here so if I do not have this characterization tool then how I claim uh, that I got this material I got a morphology I got a, a, a nano material uh, which have a bigger shape a sphere and small small nano particles the combination of these two how I will claim in my paper how I will tell the editor that I synthesize some new material which is the combination of big particles and small particles how and look the small particles are hollow if you focus here the small particles are hollow you see here so this is the uh, SEM uh, to tell that uh, my material is uh, for us are uh, 
uh, not porous. Uh, this is also used for cross-sectional. For example, if you are working uh, in a nanotechnology uh, and you want to measure the cross-section of your electrode, so this is the cross-section you see here. ACM can give you a clear uh, 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 measurement that uh, this is in micron. You see this thickness is very uh, big here. So it is in, uh, you, the scale is in micron. This should be, uh, if you take this scale and bring it here, it should be 14 to 20 micron, I think. Let's see. Oh, it's in 8.5 micron. You see? So it is this micron. Take the scale <laughs> and you will see uh, how it looks like. So, you see when you zoom it here, so you will see that uh, still we have the hollow, hollowness here. When you make the uh, paste and uh, when you make the slurry from nanoparticles and it is not affecting by the grinding on those kind of things because you see the nanoparticles are still there here, the hollow, hollow, no, hollow particles. You see further when you zoom it here, so the hollow uh, particles are still there. So this is how we um, interpret and let's go now to the real scenario and how I write in my uh, paper here. So this is a result discussion part. So you direct attack here. Figure one shows the morphology of tenoxide multiforce nanofibers and this composite here, you see. So the pure SNO2 multiforce nanofibers demonstrate a porous morphology. You see how I am talking about? How I know that uh, the morphology is porous? Because I have seen the images here. You see here? From here? I have seen the images. This is why. The TSL4 treated systematically fill the force. When we put the TSL4, uh, TSL4 post treatment, uh, they fill the force in the nanofibers, thereby making this, 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 this. And you can easily say that um, yeah, a small nanoparticle develop of the size of this here you see. This is all you can uh, explain in your result and discussion. And you just link those porosity to a real life scenario. I explain here. All the porosity of the photoionode material favor electrolyte penetration and enhance dye uptake. Uh, it increase grain boundary density and reduce particle-particle interconnectivity there parasitic in high charge transport resistance. You see here, I also give the importance here. And I also explain that uh, uh, the pore diameter here, you see the pores, I also explain. So this is you have to uh, write about your uh, 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 images and you have to explain this uh, uh, in this result discussion like this, you see. And these are the cross section here, you see here. Yes. Uh, these are the cross section of my electrode, and previous was the uh, uh, surface morphology. So, I hope it is very, very clear now that uh, how to interpret uh, scanning electron microscopy graphs and for what purpose we are basically using. Thanks for watching.